Yo yo, Ringulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Manor Lords. We're back at it again, and uh, we're gonna keep continue our story here with uh, Goldhoff, and uh, just see where it goes. We just entered our first winter. Uh, the snow just fell, and uh, we're gonna see what winter's like. Uh, we have good storage. We have like pretty much a full year's worth of uh, fuel and food, so. Should be fine. The only thing that I am kind of struggling with here is just bandits. I'm not too sure just yet how to deal with them. Um, we now have two bandit camps. We have one right here, just spawned right next to our village, and then we have another one that's like all the way across across the uh, across the map. So they keep stealing our food, and then. Right as winter hit, they stole a bunch of my fur, which I really don't like. Um, and I don't know how to stop them. I don't know if I can stop them. Like, I would assume the only way to stop them would be to attack them. If I had to guess. So work area is empty. Workers can't find anything to gather. At least for now. So I just reassign them, or... That's the thing that I don't understand about this just yet, because they have a stall. So if I reassign them... Does that stall go away? Not too sure. Oh, that's what lost me my well. So I made chicken, a chicken coop. That cost me 25. Okay, that's, that makes sense. I was wondering why I lost 25 money like global wealth it's because we did the chicken coop that makes a whole lot more sense so our approval rate is going up we have one more house for a family to move into we're currently building our church still in production um we have a family assigned to our storehouse. We don't have anyone for a pantry. So I wonder if we swap the family from here. It seems weird. If you unassign them, the market will have to take be taken over by someone else. What a thought. Makes sense. It makes sense. So I just kind of... Okay, that's what I thought. So you have to leave someone assigned to food for food, and you have to leave someone assigned for firewood. Even if you have a surplus at this point. Um, you have... 20 planks. Hey, bring that piece over here. What else? Requires planks. Oops. All of that is just timber. Mining camp is timber, timber. This requires stone, we already have one. That requires timber, timber, timber. Just built our church. I don't think we're really gonna do anything with farming.
All of this is timber. That requires stone. So we don't need any more planks. Come on. Come along. Yep. So we're gonna unassign family there. I think we'll Okay, so we already have a family assigned to here, so we won't assign a family there. We got one there. I wonder if someone has to be assigned to the church. We have two families. I don't have anyone in the trade post, tavern, or the granary. We need ale, which in turn... Where is this? Commodities. We would need a route which would need money. So we can't even begin to think about this. So how do we get money? We need money. We make money by selling things. What can we sell? Workers use iron slabs to craft tools. Converts clay to clay tiles. We need stone in order to make that. Malt house. I might. So construction's finished, the church is finished. It does require a family. that one. I don't like that one. Oops. I did that. We'll sign a family. levels of faith for residential requirements. Church level, church level. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Now we need clothes. The only thing is we just had all our furs stolen, I think. Really sucks. So we have 17 hides. We go tannery. Be first of our industry. We have a church there. Our storage is there. Almost. I was thinking, and well, yeah, no, industry is going to be here. It's just almost kind of feels weird to put industry like right where the church is. I don't know why. I almost want to make like a city center there. I don't know how, though. I don't know how that's a thing. Okay, so I'm going to build a road. Build a rope through here. No. No. Okay. Well, I think we go right here, cut across, cut across. It doesn't leave any room for expansion here. Like, these have room for expansion technically, but. 
I don't think I was gonna make them bigger. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna think twice about it. Essentially, this will tie right into the church here. Boom. Build. And then we will have industry. Our residents will continue bursting out here. And we'll have industry right here. So we will go... Right... I want to keep that tree. Keep these trees. We just cut across. I'm overthinking it, but I just kind of... Okay, we're just going to cut across here. We go tannery. All our shit's going to be here. Can I make a road across here? Can. Done. And then we'll come across here. Continue this out. I think I'm being a little too straight here. Let's go here. Here. Do a nice curved road there. Build that. And then we'll go tannery. Right on the corner here. Right there. Mark of Rude Variety 7, Church Level 2. Awesome. We have good approval. We still have an empty house. Yes. We just built a tannery. We have one... So we just need one more family to move in. Oh, we need more than just one more family to move in, but... Thirty-six. Is there any way to turn that down? I don't need thirty-six. Fourteen of thirty-six. Because I have fourteen males, but they're not all armed, right? Or are they? You have 20 spears and 20 shields. Okay. Gotcha. Let's speed this up a little bit. They're praying, so they're just a religious family. New family moved in. Hell to the yes. Okay. I think I'm going to make a bigger plot. Wait a minute. The families grow, it seems. It kind of makes sense. Gonna make 
residential. Burgundy plot. I've kind of been making them a generic size with a tiny bit of expansion on the back. Let's make two plots. Back here. That seems really big. If I go here. The two bigger plots. There and there. I build those two. I don't know how much room you really need for like the sheep or the vegetables. Does the chicken seem to be doing fine? Like we have two eggs in the marketplace. I don't know how quickly this actually the Not entirely sure how quickly it generates. make sure that they finished the uh, tannery there because I'm pretty sure they would have just instantly jumped on the uh, houses here. So I wonder if you pick one of these. Are you not allowed to upgrade to like level 2? But Burgage plot level 2 low. I wonder what that means. Does that just mean it's not level two? Probably what that means. Not enough wealth. Converts all inhabitants to artisans, unlocking them from being assigned to other jobs. So if you make a house in one of these, you eliminate them from working. And now they work at their house. As one of these. Interesting. Because I just made a tannery. I wonder if that allows... Probably allows multiple families to work there, and if I want, I'm like, make a business. I could, essentially, Come on, lady. Come on. rather than just a single house. I think that's how that. I think that's how that works. Okay. Uh, let's speed this up a bit. I, I always kind of go back to just regular speed, but I should probably always just assume times four is normal speed at this point. Kind of need to progress a little bit more here. So we're in January, so we uh, pass through December. We have a tannery. Let's uh, assign a family to the tannery. And at the very least, we can sell leather. We currently have a family assigned to hunting. And we have 18 hides. So hopefully that's a decent amount of hides. I'm, I don't, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll find out. And I think we have a bunch of animals. Like we're not even close yet.
kind of wasted my time building a tavern without access to a bird like to ale it's kind of useless okay so what do we got here should also think about building a stone mine. There's a lot of things that I want to do, but it requires an entire family to uh, do things. level six why is it so high I'm not complaining thing I don't understand still sweet they set up a, a stall to sell leather a clothing stall that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the house is the same size. Just a bigger plot of land. I should probably assign someone to the trading post next so that I can sell stuff now. I have a lot of firewood so I wonder if I should make a charcoal. Ah, that requires people. That's the problem. It's kind of annoying that that pops up every time that this gets filled. That's pretty stupid. I wonder if it's a waste of time to have a family full time on storage. But I think that if this gets too max, they set up a stall and just start selling this stuff. My understanding. Could be wrong. Upgrade to a large storehouse. Level them up yourself. Level two Burge plot generates one regional wealth per family per month. Unlocks new extension including artisan workshop. Residential requirements will increase. So this is level two now. When they're done there, they'll upgrade that. Or no, this just goes automatically, it seems, I think. They need to load it, though. Hmm. Well, we'll find out what it looks like when you upgrade a uh, manor, or, or uh, bur burgage plot.
A lot of berries. An extremely uh, large amount of firewood at this point. The only reason, like, I just assume that I'm not allowed to, like, if I stop. This family owns a market stall. If you unassign them, the market will have be taken over by someone else. So I just got to keep them assigned to this 24-7. At least it seems that way. Okay, let's see what happens here. New family moved in. Hell yeah. Sign our family to this trading post. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure um, what I need to do other than that. I don't have any money, so I don't really want to buy anything right now. The only thing that we need to do... Hmm. Is we could export planks. Or... Hides. Or not hides, um... Leather. Route required. I guess we can't sell leather. So we need a route established. How do we establish a route? Just cost a bunch of money and that's how we establish a route? So how do we make a money initially then? Transporting, resting at home. Hang leather. Clothing market supply.
Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure what else I need to do. Clothing stall supply. Is a requirement. People actually come and buy this? Because, like, wouldn't I need to make, like, a... Like, a weaver's shop? Wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. Hmm. No, I think what we need to do next is make a stone cutters camp. Yeah, we're gonna make a stone cutters camp. We have stone over here. I kind of want to do clay, but we don't have stone, so we're gonna do a stone cutters camp. Just get more stone. I'm not too sure if a family assigned to the trading post here is really doing anything right now. The only thing I can do, if I go no trade and I go export planks, I could export planks, right? Wait, what? Why do I have to carry this alone? Confused. Why do I have to carry this Sell until the desired surplus is reached. So if I have more than that, bring this in, move that. Stocking goods for sale. So I'll make 30 gold off of that, essentially, if I sell everything. Hopefully. And then we still have a family on a sign, so we'll make another plot here. Flat is this. Take this road. What just happened? Damn it. Did I just get robbed? Can't find anything to gather. Yeah, well, I already knew that. I don't know what some of these noises mean. Take a road behind here. We'll do like a little curve here. Yeah, in these houses. Build that. Berries so plump and juicy. You'll want to eat them by the bushel. Make some more houses. So if we make a bigger storage, does that make the square bigger? And the camp was sighted. Damn it, dude.
So we got three bandit camps now. So our shit's gonna start disappearing more and more often, essentially, is what that means. Damn. I really need to get more people in an armory here. I got... Uh, Military-wise, I have 17. I can only armor 20. And it seems like these bandit camps are 15. But I don't know if they're stronger. Maybe I can hire mercenaries. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's probably 15. So if I mount an army of 20, the only problem is, is like, are these guys better than my civilians? Like, Probably. The only issue from that is like we're just gonna get keep getting robbed here. It's freaking annoying. Okay, so February. Almost at the end of winter. 72 approval. Hell yeah. Now where's our fur situation at here? Hides. I think we're probably kind of at a, uh, yeah, at an impasse here. I can't keep up. The uh, the hunting can't keep up with the hides. We've received reports of a bandit raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? New objective. Prepare to attack. What the hell? My understanding these guys are coming to attack the bandits. attack well hopefully they're not coming for us I think they're coming for the bandits Awesome. So I faced the winter. Didn't have anyone abandon me. Apparently that's a thing. I'm a little worried about expansion. Like, I don't know how much you need to expand this. We got another family that just moved in. I'm just worried about the storage expansion, to be perfectly honest. I don't know how much room it needs to expand.
Wonder her. Make just one big plot here. I'm gonna do it. It's a little different from the rest of my stuff. Firewood stall. There's a second stall they built because of the surplus. It's kind of not good. Or is that just necessary? Where the hell are we? A second food stall. Second firewood stall. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna slow things down just a little bit here. Um, so we have two families on a sign, so we obviously want to keep the one on the sign, but what else do I want to do here? Fifty-three wealth now. Awesome. Maybe let's just put another family back on the saw. Back on the sawmill. Make more planks. We can sell more planks. Make more money. Essentially, planks are the only thing that we can really sell right now. Or stone, but we can't even... We don't have a stone mine right now. Which is something we probably should do. I wonder why they made another stall. Yeah, they're probably headed toward the bandit camp. I'm just gonna let it happen. I, uh. My understanding is that you probably want to take out the bandits yourself because you probably get money in or s something from it. I think that I gathered that from watching other videos, but I'm not entirely sure. But right now, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grow my city. If I get attacked, I'll defend myself, but. Just kind of want to focus on building my, uh, building my town a little bit up. I am curious why the, they started new food stalls and firewood stall. Are these people selling shit? Kind of seems like it.
Okay, 20 planks and 15 stone for our manor. Windmill. What is this? Farming? Sheep farm. Now that's something I can probably do. wonder if you can, like, I don't think you can, but, like, make plots bigger? Probably not. So I have 30 people now. I can probably upgrade more homes here, make more money. We'll upgrade this home. We'll upgrade this home. And we'll just chill. We upgraded this house. They want tavern. I need ale, which requires money. We have 60. So if I go over here, go to trade, commodities, ale, 48, establish a trade route. After paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only this specific good. So 48 gold to establish ale. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do it. Done. We're gonna go import. Cost 18 gold. Holy shit. We don't have any gold right now. We have 11 gold right now. So we're going to need some time. But we just updated two of our slots here. To level 2. We have one at level 2. Each one produces one gold per month. But I don't know is how you... Two region wealth for family. Adds a living space for one family. Hmm. See, the thing is, is I wonder if you... Well, we'll find out with this, because we have a chicken coop. If you try to upgrade this to three, I don't think that'll work because you have a chicken coop. You don't have room for another house. Or does that just make your current house bigger? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Our happiness is pretty good. Use another ox. Provides one stable space. If we make another spot right here. Oops. Oh, whatever. Yeah, we're headed towards this camp. Just fine by me. Unless that means they're claiming it. If that means they're claiming it, that would kind of suck. That would kind of suck. Just gonna fast forward. Should probably make some more plots. Two 
Come on. Decent amount of leather, planks, firewood. What happened to our hunter gatherers? So there's, so it does just refresh. That's awesome. Animals, they refresh no problem. What's this? Are these guys coming for the other bandits? Probably. I don't think they're coming for me. I do worry that they, if they take over the bandit camp, that they take this whole region. Not too sure if that's how it works. So these are still under construction. A very slow process to get an ox there. It's also stupid that this is a one log at a time type deal. So that, it like requires an aux basically in order to function. Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. So, we're selling our planks fairly well. The fields need a bit of a drink. So Just kind of wish the process of getting logs over here was a little bit more streamlined. They're just all waiting for the frickin' ox cart. Is it all the... I just wonder what it takes to get another ox. <clears throat> I wonder if it's just as simple as another hitch post, or do I actually have to buy one? Probably have to buy one. Probably can't do it here. I probably need a livestock trading post. Takes a lot to establish a trade route. Oh 
almost there. It's a sign. Still on the okay, good. Seventy seven approval rate. Hell yeah. Of course, that just went right down, but still. Now I have 30 gold. New family just moved in. Hell yeah. Sediment increased. Okay. Development point. Okay. Let's take a look. So I did charcoal burning. Which I could probably start doing, and I, I bet it sells better, and it is probably something I should probably do. I have a lot of firewood. Doubles capacity of bear deposits. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in forests, which gives passive income of meat. Yeah, I kind of want leather. So I probably have to unlock this in order to unlock one of these. So I'll do that. Gives a passive income of meat. That's not a bad thing. But we probably need someone in our granary. Or is there a different storage slot for meat? I don't think so. I think it's just our granary. We have another family that just moved in. Slow time down just a little bit. Give myself some time to think. I do want to make a sheep farm. I feel like that would be beneficial. I don't like how this costs money. Upgrade to level 2, expand living space. Doubles the maximum family count for this Burgess spawn. Yeah, because I did make it a little bit bigger. Interesting. Or go up to level 2. I'm confused, I'm not too sure what to do here. on hunting in order to get more fur in order to get more leather in order to import leather or export leather, sorry because we have a fair amount of it in storage our residence yeah might be overthinking this. I'm gonna go tavern. I still need... Ah, never mind. Never mind. No, no. I still need to establish a... Oh no, I did establish a trade route. Sorry. Yeah, so we're gonna go tavern. Boom. And then we're gonna trade for ale and see if that works. 
Commodities, ale. I can only buy one right now, but we'll see. I'm gonna go... 10. And we'll probably lose all our money until we have a surplus of 10. We'll see. This may be stupid, but... We'll find out. I just wonder what, like, one... One unit, like, does for us. Is that more than just one... One... Drink? Is that, like, a cask of ale, and that supplies the bar for a month? Or is that... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. This is heavier than it looks. Where is our planks at? Probably not very good, eh? Nearby bandits stole meat and timber. I can handle that. That's fine. So these guys are still headed south. Look like they're headed for that bandit camp. Okay. If I go military. 20. I have the ability to have 21, but I don't have any armaments. If I rally 20 of these guys and go attack this bandit camp, is that going to be fine? Because I always count 15 here. And then I don't see shit here. What the fuck? Did they get eradicated and I just didn't notice? How long a trade route takes. Oh, there we go. Perfect. He doesn't have anything in his card. That's awesome. This game is awesome. Definitely need more ox. Like, how the hell do I get more freaking ox? This is brutal with only one. seem to have a surplus in meat. Region being claimed. Build bolt. Resolve the claim on a battlefield. Use king's favor. Negotiate. What is this? A region is being claimed. Hildbolt von... What is this? Like, my region? I'm not fighting him. Like, this sucks. I don't want him to claim this, but at the same time, it's like, what am I supposed to do? Like... I'm assuming his army is this is his army. I don't have enough to fight that. That's insane. 
I don't even have freaking more than his army in total. I guess he's gonna claim that. Hopefully... Uh, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, how detrimental that is. Okay, so we sold. We finally got some ale. They're transporting the ale. Okay, so we finally have a working tavern takes a hundred ale so that kind of makes me worried that I need a lot more so I'm gonna start selling leather That's smart. Might want to make some more houses, to be honest. So they're fully level two with the chicken. Whoa. Jeez Louise. Fire broke out. That scared the shit out of me. running to the well. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the hell? Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Yo! Wow! Holy shit! Brutal, dude! This is gonna take forever to rebuild. Yo, this is going to take forever to rebuild. Please stop the fire there. Please stop the fire there. Holy crap, man. What a joke. Three houses completely gone. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. One bolt of lightning lost three houses. Holy fuck. That's brutal. Wow. Now I have homeless fucking people. Wow, what a fucking joke. Wow. 
Wow. That's all I can say. With that being said, I almost want to build a well over here then. Anything over here catches fire, I'm screwed. Wow. That sucked. Damn, that sucked. Wow, that sucked. Now I have homeless people. Wow, I don't even know what to do or say. surplus of 20. It's going to take a little bit to get there, but it's fine. I guess I'll unassign the... Oh, shit, they have a shop. Okay, so that's that's why. Okay, so we do have a shop of firewood because there's a, such a surplus in firewood. I need to make a charcoal plot. I think that requires stone, though. Where's the frickin' charcoal stuff? Big space. Be worried about it catching fire. fire, man. Lack of administrative building. Shit. Planks and stone. Guess it makes sense that I would need, uh, administrative manor. I'm a manor lord. Kind of need a manor. Requirement's not met. Probably needs everything here to be filled out. Fuel stall, fuel stall supply. Food stall supply. Not good enough? Is that just because people were 
dealing with the fire and huh Out of alcohol. All these trade routes cost money. No matter what. Is that only to sell or buy? I don't understand this. After paying for to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only for this specific type of good. But if I don't buy that what happens do I just have to wait for a longer period of time hmm wonder why you would need someone assigned to that. Maybe that's to make them just per like permanently assigned to the cart. I really need a, a new freaking ox. A livestock trading post. How do I, like, do I have to establish that post? And then that's going to cost me a bunch more money, essentially. So yeah, this guy's coming to sell. I don't have enough money to buy. So maybe he is... A merchant that is going to buy planks. I don't know. Or berries, maybe? He just left. I guess at some point we're gonna need more people to work on gathering and food because obviously we're gonna need to eat more. I think that's what we're kind of running into right now. Hmm. 
And that's where our food stocks are coming in. I'm making a charcoal kiln right now. I'll need a family to assign to that. I need more residential, for sure. Kind of weird to build on a hill. I'm gonna try it. So if we go here. Essentially, take off this. How does this work? If we do something like this. I need to be building bigger lots, if I need to be building smaller lots. I'm just gonna expand the living space on this lot here. See what that looks like. I think this is going to cost us an additional 25 to do the chickens again. Or it looks like we have chickens. Summertime. Full on berries. Constantly selling. We could use another hunting family. But I definitely obviously gonna I'm gonna have to put some people on the kiln here. Stall supply is not good enough for the last family there. You'll stall supply. small little cottage next to this house which allows another family to move in that's interesting and I still can upgrade a level two after that I just need more fuel stall supply food stall supply clothing supply interesting okay how do I do that 
new family moved in. Well, we have two unassigned families. We are gonna go ahead. Is this finished? No. I'm gonna make this a priority. I'm gonna make a family do the charcoal. We'll get better fuel. And we can sell any excess charcoal we have, because we have a bunch of, of, of firewood. So now we'll sign a family to this. I know I put it over here. It's probably going to pull everything from the storage house. Which we're fine on the storehouse. We're fine on the granary. We're definitely going to need to upgrade this pretty quick, though. It doesn't require too much. Just planks and some lumber. We have a bunch of timber. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's starting to look like a functioning in town at this point. Ale, two ale at this point. Nice. I just hope for we need a we need to be able to sell at a steady rate. Um, it's June. We have a couple more months to harvest. There's all a lot to harvest. We have plenty to harvest. We're functioning. That's essentially what we're doing, is we're just functioning. Just just fine. The only thing is, we need more food, apparently, at this point. That's a big inkling problem. Market food stall supply? I don't necessarily think that's actually a supply issue. That's more of just, like, not having the stores stocked. We have plenty of food. I'm gonna transition. Oh, I don't have money. Joiner's Workshop. Enables production of wooden parts. Shields. Well, that's probably a good thing. And Fletcher's. Warbows. You know what? That's gonna eat into our selling, though. Man, it's kind of tough to make uh, decisions here. A lot to, a lot to think about. We definitely want a bigger army at this point. Whoa! What happened? What happened? Equipment missing. What? What do you mean equipment missing? Oh, we lost in the fire. Holy shit. Wow. Well, we're going to do that then. And we're going to do a war Fletcher shop and we're going to make some archers. Holy shit! We lost all our weapons along with the fire! That is brutal. That's brutal.
Okay, what's this? Unassigned families needed for construction work. We have an assigned family, don't we? What happened? Did we have a family leave? Am I crazy? Did we have a family leave? What just happened? Oh, my unassigned family is now assigned to this. Is that what just happened? So now they're assigned to their own house. They need stone or charcoal, which I have a family on charcoal. Interesting. So large shields or smaller shields. S large shields are for spearmen. This family probably got reassigned. They got reassigned, so what did I just lose out on? I lost out on a free construction family, and then I lost out on something else. Someone got on assigned here. Church is still going. Woodcutters are still going. Sawmakers are still going. Charcoal's going. Logging's going. So what did I lose out on? Who? I feel like I would have lost out on a family. Am I crazy here? I feel like I'm crazy. What did I just lose out on? Got stalked. People are there. I'm so confused. Is there now... No, nope, they're foragers. These people are now boyers. They work at home. These people are now... Joiners. They work at home. I can't progress until I have construction family. Who can I unassign? I'm an unassigned timber, I guess. And they can go construct. We destroyed a huge area of forest. But it's a damper on our plank making, sort of. Until another family moves in, but hopefully by the time we are kind of done building this area, another family have already built, have, have come in. It's kind of my hope. Grave digger. What? Oh, this is my church family. Really? Interesting. I would not have thought that this house was attached to my church. It seems weird. I would have thought they were like my food gatherers. Hmm. 
wonder how quickly this gets made. Waiting. He's sick. Transporting and transporting. Need an armory? Wonder how long it takes to build. bows now. I'm gonna actually go and go armor. Militia, do they take war bows or do they actually take the different bows? No, they take war bows. Perfect. Damn, I can't believe we lost so many freaking weapons there. Three houses went up with one lightning bolt. Nuts. And that makes me want to make another well. Right here. Oh. And we deplete over time, it looks like. What the hell? Okay, so I'll make a well right here. Damn. I'll move this one across the street. That's crazy. I, that, and, like, that's over a year, I guess. Move the well to here. Or does that... Is that fine? Am I still within the water? I don't even know anymore. I can't tell now. Because I just plopped that down. And covered... It does look like waters are being sucked away. Am I wrong? Are we fine? Does they get depleted over time? It doesn't seem like it. I'm just gonna leave it. We have wells on either side of our residential space. That'll hopefully help. Probably wanted that closer to here, but we didn't really have water deposits. We have a house built. Is this built? Nice. Uh, hopefully. Oh, we have an uninsigned family. Awesome. So we will. Another burger slot. Nice. redo here. Put another person back on logging. Even though this is like depleted shit. We have logged the hell out of this area. I don't really care. To be honest. I might even start building over here. I don't know. Kind of looking at the fact that we're on a hill here. It's not a very steep hill. Let me just kind of built all of this. So we have. No one in here. No one in here. Perfect. We have three more residential slots. This one's still getting built. This still needs to get built. We got a decent amount of construction that still needs to get done. This is heavier than it looks. 
Not making a whole lot of money right now. You're low on food. Every time I look, it looks like we're getting less and less food. I think we're getting to a point to where I need to put people more people on food. Which I kind of want to go hunting. Family. Not a gathering family. I want to go a hunting family. So I need another residence. The next residence goes to hunting. Because we are kind of starting to run out of food here. I see our stocks are like slowly dwindling, it seems. But not necessarily the berries. The berries, we have a shit ton of. I also need a mining camp. I need a lot of things. So we have three plots now, ready to go for people to move in. I'm gonna make a vegetable farm here. Oh, I don't know how much that's actually gonna supply us. Cause like the eggs seem to do a decent amount. There's always eggs in the store it seems. There's eggs there. Wait a minute, what is that? Is that stone? No, those charcoal. Yeah. Leather, eggs there. So maybe if I do vegetables, it'll help with the food difference here. Some of the food stall supply. I'm almost nervous of having so many freaking buildings close to each other now just because of that fire. That really destroyed everything here, man. For 42 residents. That's pretty sweet. The family just grew. So now we have 42. The new family just moved in. The lands are stricken with drought. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. 
I'm not farming, so that's not the end of the world. It's just water. Hopefully that doesn't affect us, really. So am I going to have to fight all of this off? Because I think that's my win condition, is I have to fight the Baron. And he just took another's place. He had like 30-30. I guess if I hire mercenaries... Hire mercenaries. Brother of the Forest, Battle Brothers, Green Caps. Treasury, 60-50-60. Holy crap. But you get two parties of probably 36, 36 guys each, if I had to guess. 50 and 60 gold. And that's out of your treasury. That's just your personal treasury. Huh. I need my building here. So I need... Uh, Administration. I need some stone. Now we have two hunting groups. Yeah, my food stock is going down, so I'm gonna go two hunting groups. That'll help the tannery. We do seem to have a surplus in leather. Fuel stall. See, but these guys say we don't have enough clothing. I need wool. Damn, I need a lot. I need a lot of shit. It's crazy. Every time I think I need, I'm like, oh, I got something new. Nope, you need something else, man. You need wool now. And this guy? No. We need money. Let's go, not wool. I need sheep. So if I go farming, sheep farm, one. This doesn't matter where I set it, right? It's only the actual fields and crops that matter, right? <clears throat> sheep must be first imported via the livestock trader. I need a livestock trader. Awesome. Man! Damn, man, there's a lot that I need. Holy shit. Nothing in store. That kind of sucks. Because I don't have planks because I'm using planks to make bows. Essentially. Or am I making planks to make shields? Probably shields, actually. So, I'm wondering... At home, waiting. Because they need the ox. Holy shit, I need another ox so bad. 
So if that's the case, I need to make a trading post. That's crazy. I need to make an ox or a, a livestock trading post. We'll do one right here. We're in the middle of a drought. Brutal. That probably would affect our livestock, if I had to guess. I'm just gonna go right here. I wanna make it like right here. It's not letting me put it in this corner here. This one, I might just. A little weird, but we're gonna make a road across here. That one, and we'll build, and then we will go livestock trading post right here. A little unconventional. Yeah, it's a little weird. I probably should have put it on this road. Not the end of the world. Livestock trader will come down and break down this way, and then the regular trader will come down this way. Or they can just come down and jump across here. Our hitching posts are up here, so that's kind of where our stables are. Is there a bigger... We can probably upgrade these. Upgrade, small stable, yes. That's what I thought. Order another ox. Holy crap. That's all it took? It's probably because I needed another stable. That probably wasn't there until I made that itching post. So I need 20 gold. What does a horse do? What's the difference between a horse and an ox? I'm assuming I probably just want an ox. Horses might help in fields, but... Damn. I could have just ordered a frickin'... But, in order to order sheep or whatever, I need that building anyways. It only cost us two lumber. But in reality, that cost us time for planks. They don't have any storage. They have it all stored here. They are essentially burning through this Super quick. Transporting charcoal burner. Charcoal four at the shop. We're burning through charcoal like super quick, essentially. What's this? Firewood? Pantry. We're starting to fill up our market area. Did we lose our hunter gathers? Or sorry, our No. Transporting. They're just going through it. Add a herb garden.
Wow, there is a lot to this game. We added a whole other family to this. Like, they were- the animals were keeping up super- It's a rich deposit, so we should be fine. I'm really hoping that just boosts our tannery, so our tannery is just going 24-7. And then we'll have an excess of- of leather. Which in turn will help us sell leather. I haven't started selling leather, I don't think. But I did start selling food. Is that the problem? That might have been a problem. Because our berries only ever get up to 63. I feel like that's enough. 63 seems like a freaking lot. One food and one per month. And winter is double. Okay. Well, you learn new things every time. So, obviously, it told us that at the beginning, and I wasn't really paying attention. So, each one of these consumes one food and one fuel per month. And then they require tavern. Like, I need a. I'm assuming this is in order to even upgrade, probably. You need to meet all this requirement even to upgrade is probably what it is the what's the deal in order to get to tier three. It's eight and that's nine. So they're waiting on planks. So I'm gonna stop selling planks. Well, it's a surplus. Yeah, like, we don't export planks. There's no trade for that right now. Um, I should probably do the same for berries at this point. Like, I don't understand what's necessarily going on. And I'm kind of at a point where I don't think I should be selling or buying... Yeah, I'm not gonna buy anymore. We don't have enough money for that. So we're gonna exnay the tavern for now. We're gonna stop the tavern. We're gonna stop importing alcohol. Unfortunately. We already paid this guy, so he just continuously comes no matter what. I'm assuming that just means it comes faster than normal? I don't know. Construction finished, livestock trading post. So I just took off the tavern, people. Do I keep people on the livestock trading post then? I don't need people here either, do I? If I'm not trading or selling... I'm just worried about the berries. Like, do I need to stop selling? Six months. I'm gonna stop selling. We don't have enough surplus for this. I need to pay attention to this. We're done. No export. Essentially, we're not exporting anything right now. Can we export maybe leather? Where's leather? Oh, it requires us to have a route. That's nuts. 
and so does charcoal. So you can't sell charcoal or leather without buying a route. Okay. Well, lessons learned. Uh, that's where we're gonna end it right now, and uh, man, survived winter. Had a couple houses glide up on fire. We learned a lot from that. But we're, we're growing here. We are growing. We've got 15 living spaces. We got 45 people. I'd say we're doing a pretty good job. I need to still kind of worry about the bandit camps and kind of get myself armored, but we're working on it. Um, until next time. Peace.